Hi everyone, uh, decided to make another dashboard and I figured I'd throw audio into this to explain what I did and why I think it's valuable. Um, apologies for the watermark on the video, my streaming setup couldn't handle running a large Power BI um, report as well as my stream, so I'm doing this in a, a free trial software that I had to get. So. Um, this is a video game, another video game uh, report that I made uh, for a game that I really love. It's called Apex Legends, made by Respawn Entertainment. Uh, and I finally, the reason I did this is I finally found a good API for the game that gives me some usable data, whereas some of the other APIs were kind of dead and didn't give me stuff to use. Anyway, um, if you're not into video games, you might say, what is the point of this? How does this apply to me, really? And what I've done is I actually took uh, data for each of the weapons in the game and created sort of an armory uh, database where you can compare other weapons. So to apply this to other industries, I would see this as more as like a, a way to compare different types of equipment or different subsets of equipment within the similar type. Um, so maybe like if you think uh, in a manufacturing plant, um, a centrifugal, you know, different types of centrifugal pumps uh, as one subset, and then like inline thermometer probes. Those are pieces of equipment in your plant that help you accomplish your goal, but you're not going to compare them apples to oranges, essentially, one against the other, but you might want to see how they perform apples to apples with their in, in their own subset. So kind of a similar thing with weapons in the game, right? They're pieces of equipment the players use to accomplish a goal. Um, so this is sort of the home page. I did a nice little, or grabbed a nice little character art um, in the background, which there's plenty of. They did a great job with the design on this game. Um, the Legends button, I kind of just put there as a placeholder. I didn't pull any data tied to the characters. Uh, I just did the armory, which is tied to the weapons. Uh, before I dive into that, though, I'm going to show off this little dev tracker. If we click that. This will take us to Trello, and uh, the devs, of, or the developers of Apex Legends actually set up sort of a bug reporting site and just a way to keep in touch with their community. So you can see latest news, general bugs, quality of life features, how to use this, uh, patch notes, report bugs yourself, report hackers, things like that. So the reason I wanted to show that off, besides it being really cool for that, the uh, Apex Legends community, is if you own an application or a report and there's additional you know large sets of information you want people to be able to see you don't necessarily need to ingest that and own that within your report you can simply link out to it so now within one click of a button from my report uh, people are able to actually go out and see you know uh, every bit of news they could want from the uh, DevOps standpoint for uh, Apex Legends so kind of something to keep in mind uh, with that, let's jump into the armory. So click this button. This will be a similar setup to what the game actually has for a weapon select. So uh, you can choose your weapon. They're broken down by their subclasses. So assault rifles, submachine guns, light machine guns, pistols, sniper, shotguns, and then all listed vertically with pictures in their names. Um, and you can pick on each one of these and it's going to take us to more detailed stats about the gun. I'm going to zoom in on the Peacekeeper. This is probably, it's definitely one of the strongest guns in the game from a performance standpoint. Uh, it's a heavy duty shotgun. And so at the top we'll get the name of the weapon, our weapon type, ammo type. Uh, if you want to go back and make another selection, you click this button, it takes you back to the armory. And on each uh, page you have the Apex Legends icon which will actually take you back to the home page. So let me zoom back into the Peacekeeper. And what I did uh, to visualize the equipment essentially is around the edges, I did some, what I think are some important uh, stats tied to the individual guns themselves. So like a DPS, that's damage per second, your headshot damage per second, leg shot damage. So essentially think of like a body shot instead of a headshot. Um, your damage modifier, which I'll talk about more in a bit. And then on the right side is more like uh, less damage, more rate of fire, projectile speed, draw times, so how long does it take to take out, you know, if you are if you happen to not have your weapon out in the game. And then in the middle here, this actually shows you um, just the weapon, the how the, the selected weapon compares to other weapons in its subclass. So in this case, all four shotguns in the game are visualized. 
I want to do, I sort of left some data in here that's not, you know, I would not ship this data um, as is because when I was initially looking through the data set, I saw damage. So I said, what do I want to show across all the weapon types in the subclass or all the weapons in the subclass? Damage sounded like a pretty good one. And all of a sudden I noticed, hey, well, the Mastiff's number one. That makes sense. That's the best shotgun in the game. It's a, a rare drop weapon. But then the Mozambique was listed as number two, while the Peacekeeper and Eva 8 were listed as lower. Now, if you've played the game, you'll know that's ridiculous, and I'll show you why if you haven't. We'll go back to the armory here. Here's the Mozambique, right? It's this little, tiny, three-shot, uh, handheld shotgun pistol, essentially. Whereas the Peacekeeper is this big old pump shotgun. So I said, okay, what the heck's going on here? And this really just enforces the point. If you're a data analyst or a, you know, and you're not a subject matter expert in your field, or you're just getting your hands on data for the first time, it's just crucial to vet your data and understand the definitions. Um, so after I looked through this a little bit, I, I realized, you know, 15 is pretty low damage. Um, max character health is 200. And then I did notice what I highlight in gold here, that damage modifier. So for the Peacekeeper, that's an 11, which is, I might be the highest damage modifier out of all the guns in the game. And I also plotted the line damage per magazine. So you'll see here, the Mozambique only has a 135 and the Peacekeeper has 660. And I think that's where the damage modifier comes into play. I think this damage is actually a per projectile unit and then the damage modifier is the number of projectile shots. So the Peacekeeper might shoot 11 projectiles, whereas if we look at the Mozambique, it only shoots three. So right, times three versus times 11, the Peacekeeper easily outscales the Mozambique and that makes more sense. So again, if you're getting your hands on data for the first time as an analyst or an end user, reach out to subject matter experts and really vet out your definitions if you aren't sure what the data definitions actually are from the data provided. Uh, one other item I wanted to call out too is, uh, I think this is just sort of useful for visualizations like this. You'll notice here as I've changed, this says Mozambique, and then if I go to Armory and click back onto the Peacekeeper, this now says Peacekeeper. So rather than create individual text boxes for each of these titles and then having to hide them through views and, and bookmarks. I actually just used a name field. So if we look at our data set, we'll actually see here this weapon name is listed. So this is actually just a card um, that displays the name of whatever item is selected for the button that you click on. So it's essentially a dynamic title based on your equipment selection on a previous page. With I, and obviously it filters all the other data on the page to this item. So uh, I, I think it's just a really cool, neat way to compare equipment. Um, and one last thing I'll mention too as to why I compared the subclasses or the subclasses versus themselves rather than across subclasses. Um, you'll, you know, you wouldn't compare a shotgun, which has like, a, let's say a rate of fire of 58 against a um, assault rifle, like uh, our, our 301, which is my favorite gun in the game, because that has 720, right? It's It really, when you start comparing an assault rifle to a shotgun, they're designed differently, they do different things, so you don't want to just do direct comparisons, but you would be very interested in how does the R301 assault rifle compare to, you know, the Havoc, the Flatline, the Hemlock, the other assault rifles in the game. That's more of an apples to apples comparison and you might be able to tailor your play style in game to say, well, you know, my style, I'm more aggressive and my aim's, you know, pretty good. So I don't necessarily need as high a rate of fire. I would like to have higher damage. So maybe I'm going to take uh, the Hemlock, right? That's a three burst uh, gun. Uh, whereas the R301s is more of a standard assault rifle. So anyway, that's what I built. Um, I think I might actually try to go ahead and automate the data from the API so that I can just see how things change over time as the devs make changes um, to the game. And I might actually look to dive into the legends and maybe create some other buttons as well. So anyway, let me know what you think um, in the comments. And yeah, I just really love this game. I really like being able to finally get my hands on some interesting data. And I'm excited to see where this goes. Thanks.